don't know if you have ever wondered or thought about where did the Apostle Paul get his understanding of the hierarchy of wicked spirits in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. I very often thought, did he have access to some kind of other written materials or was it an idea, an idea from the philosophy of the time that he was writing. But we know that can't be true because the Apostle Paul received revelation from the living God. So I thought, well, it must have been a new revelation. Then not long after that, I was reading through the book of Daniel. And I noticed in the book of Daniel that when Daniel was praying, he had this amazing answer to his prayer because we find that the angel Gabriel came to Daniel and told him why it had taken three weeks for him to reach Daniel in person. And we find Gabriel explaining to Daniel that the prince of the power of Persia had stopped him from being able to come or was fighting against him, preventing him from immediately being able to come and bring the message to Daniel. And then he said that Michael, the prince, came and helped him so that Michael, the prince, was there over Persia holding back the evil power in order that Gabriel could come and bring the message to Daniel. When I looked at the word Prince of Persia, I discovered that that particular Hebrew and Chaldean word meant a ruler who was a military leader over a principality. And that in Persia, there were these leaders or commanders who had certain geographical areas called principalities over which they ruled. And then I realised Paul, obviously versed in the Old Testament, was using this Old Testament understanding which was revealed by revelation to Daniel by the angel that there are princes and so therefore when we have the word principality it's a ruler over a particular place and we find this very interesting because it's a certain word that is used and the Persians understood what that word meant. And then it talks about the kings, the kings of Persia. And again, when you look into that Chaldean Persian word, you find that it means rulers or powers. And these were lesser beings of authority or people of authority, should I say. But when we realise that he's talking also about the kings of Persia as well, the princes of Persia or the prince of Persia, he's not referring to flesh and blood. And so we see those very two terms are there in the Old Testament. Principalities or these particular type of rulers that were underneath the king of Persia and then these kings who are another form of rulers. And so when we read this, we see this amazing thing and it all falls into place. So there are principalities and there are powers. And Paul understood this, for he knew this from the book of Daniel. And I pray that this wee little fact brings an enlightenment to your understanding. Well, at least it did to mine anyway. And so I thought it wasn't a new revelation that Paul had. He was simply expounding 
on the understanding of what took place there in the book of Daniel.